Hey everyone, we are excited to let you know that we have just developed a great new product line here at Plaid called Folk Art Murano Glass Paint. Now this is unlike anything we've ever come out with before, but we make a lot of products that work well on glass and ceramic. So obviously we've had a lot of questions about how this differs from our other products. So we've got Caitlin here in the studio and she's gonna be relaying your questions to me. So if you have any other additional questions, put them down in the comments section and we'll make sure to answer them. But let's see what you guys got. Are there any videos or tutorials we can watch? Yes, there are a lot of videos and I'm actually gonna show you a basic getting started guide here in this video today, where we're gonna talk about how you apply Murano glass paint and how you can expect it to dry and cure. We also have several other videos on our YouTube channel, as well as our Instagram and TikTok channels that show you how to use the product. How long does it take to dry? Okay, great question. So Murano glass paint will dry in 48 hours and then you can follow the instructions on the back of your bottle to fully cure it. Does it need to be heated to cure? Okay, really good question. So to fully cure, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your glass piece, you're gonna put it in a cool oven, set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then you're gonna bake that for 30 minutes and then let that fully cool down and then your piece of Murano glass art will be completely permanent and cured. Is it food safe and dishwasher safe? Okay, two really good questions. And this is something that really makes Murano different. So Folk Art Murano is completely top rack dishwasher safe when you follow those curing instructions. So after you do that, you can hand wash it or put it in the top rack of the dishwasher, which are great things, especially when you're doing glassware like this. Now it is not food safe. So we always recommend that you leave a lip on a glass, or if you've got a plate, you are not directly serving food right on top of the paint. But as long as you're on the back side of the glass, you're totally in the clear. Is the Murano paint waterproof? That's a really good point too. So Folk Art Murano is weather resistant, but it's not waterproof. So if you were to submerge it in water for a long period of time, it would not be good for your project. But this paint is made to be active outside and give you really beautiful results no matter what you're crafting. So we've got a little lantern here that we like to put out in the garden and that is totally safe. And we wouldn't let this get a ton of rainwater in it. You know, if you're gonna have a really big storm, you'd probably wanna pull your decor in, but this is great for a patio. And if it gets a little wet every once in a while, it is totally fine. Can it be used like you use gallery glass? Okay, this is probably the top question that we've gotten since we launched Folk Art Murano. So Folk Art Murano is your go-to product when it comes to going in the dishwasher or going outside. Gallery Glass is one of our tried and true brands and it mimics the look of real stained glass. So not only do you have paint, but you also have this liquid leading that's meant to represent a leading that you would find in real stained glass. So in short, these are really different products. Gallery Glass can actually be applied vertically to your window or uh, horizontally on your surface. Folk Art Murano can only be applied horizontally. It will drip and run if you were to put it on a window. Gallery glass is also permanent until you wanna remove it. So when you peel up your pieces of gallery glass, it'll remove from your window with no residue. Folk Art Murano, on the other hand, is completely permanent and will always be on your surface. Whether you're following those air dry instructions or that baking cure, it is permanent on your surface. So those are some of the main differences between Folk Art Murano and gallery glass. We still love gallery glass for the look of faux stained glass. So the viscosity of Murano is a lot thinner than gallery glass and you're able to apply it to your base here, tap it on a piece of foam core board to level it out and then you're left with a really even coat. Another difference is we have a few formulas in the line, metallic, iridescent, and opaque that can actually be brushed out, whereas you can't brush out gallery glass because it's so transparent. Now, once it dries, you're left with a beautiful translucent color. Okay, that is how you craft with Folk Art Murano glass paint. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you.